Am I getting a weird ringing noise? Yeah, there's like it's like an echo, or it doesn't sound. It's like normal. I have tinnitus or something. Oh, really? Hold on, let me. Uh... Where? Okay. Oh, I guess I think it's because it's up to your laptop. Is it? Hold on. Oh. Check one, one, two. Oh, yeah, okay, it went away. We but it still sounds. I still sound. Yeah, that's fucking. It's electromagnetic. Uh, yeah, I'm like Chuck McGill over here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I don't know if the camera's rolling yet. Let me go see. This is still the episode, though. Hello? Oh, and now I sound good. There's it a, like, takes a while to warm up to my bullshit. There's a bunch of comments that are like, there's no video. There's no, there's no video. Yeah, right. just put a Go Vincent Ambrosia on the main screen again before the video starts. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Make, sure they, make sure they can see that I'm drinking Katie's rosé. Yeah, Devin's going all fancy mode. I'm like in Eat, Pray, Love right now. I'm like getting my life together. Mm-hmm. Okay, now it's rolling. Yeah. Devin's drinking rosé. He might meet too one of us pretty soon. I might go down to Pier 1 Imports and <laughs> give them a piece of my mind. I might buy a vase that costs $900 <laughs> and get really upset at you if you don't understand why I'm getting it. I might buy one of those big jars full of pickled peppers <laughs> that no one ever uses and they just sit on your counter. Right. I might buy a bunch of rocks that look like glass that you put in a bigger glass thing. <laughs> and it costs $500. This uh, is what I was doing. Yeah, that sucks. Don't do that. Yeah. It's annoying. It's not doing it anymore. Damn, dude. You broke my Chromebook. Oh, yeah. It went away. Dude, we we figured it out. You broke my Chromebook, dude. The Electro. That cost me $35. (laughs) Buying a Chromebook, it feels like you're like buying something from a prison commissary. (laughs) (laughs) Like, you should buy a Chromebook with like cigarettes. And like 15 Mm. years ago, that you'd be like amazing for having that. Mm. I bought the Chromebook because my laptop fucking crapped out. And then. It cost me like $85, and then I was all pissed that it was like shitty when I got it. Yeah, you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> this thing sucks. I can't even, like, the porn's all fucking shitty on it. Oh, can't definitely. even jack off huh? right. Uh, is my mic? Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Benjamin. Yeah, we want to give uh, Can't have you ha- going all alpha. No, I mean, I got a big trans kid rant coming up. No, that's because I handed you the la- the slightly louder mic. Oh, yeah, I was wondering. By three decibels. It, it did feel And that's little, why you went off. Felt a mm-hmm. little piercing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but when you buy a Chromebook, it should just come with a pack of gum or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like a pack of gum and like some uh, if Lucy's. A, if you get a Chromebook, they should give you. It should have bus tickets inside. Yeah, it of it should come with like a harmonica <laughs> and some old Playboys, mm-hmm. <laughs> some gum. Yeah, a Chromebook. You should be opening like near a campfire under a bridge <laughs> mm-hmm. while you're cooking beans in a can. That's a Chromebook for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And it looks like something like you'd be hacking into the Pentagon with in 1987. No, exactly. It's it's such a great technology that we don't give a shit at all about because mm-hmm. uh, I don't know. You can't like play. Uh, you can't play Counter Strike on it. See, but when you when you open this thing, doesn't it, it just starts yeah, blaring don't, porn? Don't, yeah, don't play all my yeah. <laughs> it starts, oh, da, 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 da. yeah. It starts playing. Like, oh, this is a gay porn. <laughs> Oh, it's a gay a Japanese pornography. That's what they say. <laughs> yeah, the whole time. But I always, I always hate it when you. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, no go ahead, Jace. Go ahead. Go when ahead. you like, when you like, you pull up the the porn for the first time that day. <laughs> yeah. You know, like you like get on your laptop and then, but you forget to like turn the volume down. Yeah. So it'll just, but it'll be the ad before you the porn. You immediately hear like, "Hey, baby, are you jerking <laughs> off alone again? That's so sad. Do your neighbors hear me right now? You fucking retarded idiot, retard." It'll, it'll be like starting. It's like, "Do you have a small little cock? You're jerking off, you little pussy boy." <laughs> oh my god! Stop jacking off at home and come to Cam Soda. Right? Is this Chase Avery with the little cock at v- VPN number one one five zero one? Oh, is that little bitch boy Chase Avery? Social Security. <laughs> Number six one five four two nine nine eight. That was way too close. Wow. That, oh, really, shit, really? that Wait, really freaked me out. Really? Wow. Oh my god. I, for a second, well, I I've you been were... siphoning money from you for years. I've been using your name on my taxes. So. Oh, that's kind of close to mine too. I think I said it because it's kind of close to mine as well. Right. Oh, maybe because we were all born Fill in like the in same the year. <laughs> Criminals at home. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have like Fed Smoker sixty nine mm-hmm. <laughs> stolen all of our identities. Oh, what was I going to say about this damn thing? The Chromebook? Oh, yeah. Just opening this damn thing, it feels it, it feels like you're opening a sandwich. <laughs> it does. There's yeah. no... You, it's just going to come apart at any it moment. It should come in a wrapper. Like, every time <laughs> yeah. you open it, it should be like a, you're getting a McChicken. Right. Mm. You should charge it by plugging it into like one of those Duracell battery renewer things. 
that yeah. your mom used to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things you get and you get the renewable batteries and then it never pans out as a th- yeah. thing you actually follow through with. Yeah, it's the ultimate dad thing of like, would you like to pay $35 to charge your fucking shitty old batteries? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Instead of going to the store like one goddamn time in your life. But also no one fall. Have you ever been at someone's house and they have a pack of batteries charging in a wall outlet? Yeah. I've never seen that in my... Oh, you have? Back in the day. I mean, like, uh, photographers and shit always do that. Because uh. photographers have to keep up the illusion that they do anything. Right. Sure. <laughs> that, that, sure. that it's not all the camera. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have to They have to bring, like, a sniper case yeah. to whatever they're going they to. They always have to... It's always about, like, the look. Like, I'm, I know I'm screwing things in, and then I just kind of press a button, and, and then I get... I look like I made that picture. Right. Because there's, there's only, like, three things, and it, it's, like, ISO, and then, like, uh, aperture, yeah. and... It's just opening and closing an eye, basically. Like, how much light you want to let in and then how sensitive the sensor is on the inside. That's all... That's pretty much all you're doing. Yeah, photographers should have to build the camera first mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then get credit for it. Mm-hmm, yeah. I don't. I don't like people to get credit for the thing that like a a, a genius had to make. Right, that or helps them. I'd only give a photographer credit if they were like standing behind the black curtain and then there was like gunpowder that they were lighting on. Yeah, fire exactly. Yeah, to, like, yeah. explode it. You better be taking a picture of fucking Jesse James. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That's a great photographer. Yeah, running away from yeah. the police. Because there was fear in that picture. You're taking a picture of a murderer, mm-hmm. and you have to break a giant window just to take the picture, and he's miserable in it. Mm-hmm. Every guy in those days taking every picture, just like with their, their, with their whole family, and they love them so much, and they're just like this. <laughs> Stone face, staring at the camera. Right. Now, I want you to think about murdering your family later <laughs> yeah. in your small little farm community. They're just all pissed off because they think the photographer is a Jew getting married. <laughs> I think if you gave them sugar, like if you went back to 1820 and gave them a can of Coke, they would smile, right? They just have no serotonin or yeah. dopamine no, they, or whatever. They would drink and they'd be like, where's the heroin? <laughs> that is true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, where's the cocaine? They had pop. Like the cowboys could come into town and get a pop or like they could go to a general store and get like a, you know, they the guy got like a, a chocolate bar from Belgium. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I guess, you know, I'm... I'm once again, I'm revealing myself as a huge retard. They got fucked up all the time. They had alcohol. They also were yeah, drunk. Yeah. God, yeah. what a life. Yeah, they had absinthe. You mm-hmm. could do that. They had stronger shit than we have now. Mm-hmm. They could drink probably, they could do a whole case race. Mm-hmm. Well, and that's just the, fill, just get right back on their horse and, that's, and that's go the, home. That's the joke of like, what would you, like if you gave a medieval like child... A Baja blast, like his head would explode. But it was like he was drinking like heroin out of a well, right? You know, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. He, they were making uh, like uh, like fentanyl and stuff, mm-hmm. and just injecting it. Yeah, well, that was like back in the in the Middle Ages. You couldn't drink water because it was all just like their water was full of shit and like piss. Mm-hmm. And so they all drank like kids drank beer. So like you'd wake up in the morning and you like crack your kid like a fucking Budweiser and just hand it to him. Mm. And then you just like down it and then go to school to get beat or whatever they did back then. <laughs> what was school back then? Uh, just I imagine like uh, metal tins at lunch, like they, metal tins just with the turds on them. Teachers just telling you how to beg for porridge. <laughs> <laughs> it's the class of the day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Period one, pickpocketing. Yeah. Period, period two. Period two, getting your skull beaten in <laughs> by the cops. Uh, period three, begging. Mm-hmm. And then period four, uh, getting molested by the king. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, you knew there was like a couple families like really pimping out their kids, just hoping they'd get a pedophile king to notice them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. It'd be like those like uh, in in uh, Mrs. Universe when they have like that one hot lady uh-huh. in that just random village in like Columbia. And they're like, we're going to get you out of this tin shack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to get fucked by the guys from Taken. We're going to take you to America. You're going to get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> your pussy was your one shot back then, huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that they was like, your one ticket to see if it would. Yeah, uh, yeah. But everyone's, you know, everyone had, it was probably so dirty down there. Nobody cleaned their twat. These ladies back then, their pussy was like probably bacon bread. <laughs> I, dude, probably loaves of bread coming out of those women's pussies. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. Have you seen that what chastity belts looked like back then? No, it's, it may, I looked it up the other day. It's been making me laugh so hard ever since I discovered it. You want to see it? Yeah, what do they look yeah. like, dude? It's I I didn't think it was a real thing. I thought it was like some e bombs world prank. Hold on, medieval. Well, I've seen like the cock cages that like BDSM guys do now. 
It's like a cage cage? Yeah, this is like modern times. It's like they, you, they put your tiny little white cock in a cage so it can't, if it gets hard, it'll just snap in half. Oh. And then your wife like fucks a big black guy in front of you. Nice. That's typically how it goes. Nice. Yeah. yeah. I think it's on the Wikipedia. Oh, yeah, this one. This is the one, the Venetian one. <laughs> so, dude, literally, that one thing is on your asshole. Shit. Fuck. Yeah, it covers your ass and your pussy. So when you take a shit, it comes out like a star. <laughs> oh my god! Like you have to Play-Doh take like things. a Mortal Kombat shit. <laughs> 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 your body, finish him. <laughs> it's like a turd getting stabbed. Oh yeah, yeah. it suck that you get to shit through that. And that's for a pussy. Yeah. And so that's for the pussy, and that's for the asshole. Obviously, and like you're trying to leave a parking lot without paying, <laughs> mm-hmm. it just rips your cock. Yeah. In. If you fucked back, then we're gonna put a boot on your pussy. <laughs> you have to go downtown and get it taken off. Wait, are we looking at it wrong? Is that for the pussy because that's the penis? No, kink? no. Well, that's gotta be for the poop shoe. Yeah. <laughs> but that's this is like an ass crack, but it's in the shape of a vagina. Yeah, but that's what a pussy shaped. That's like. gotta be the pussy, and it's to prevent like if you fuck me, your cock will be like deflated and ripped to shreds <laughs> coming out. Do you think there's some guys that just like said YOLO and risked it all? Yeah, probably still suck it in. I, yeah. I bet there's one guy. If you look at the design, there's like spikes coming in on the outside of the pussy if you're mm-hmm. wearing it. I bet there was like one MacGyver guy who stuck his dick in soft, let it get hard, and then just like made himself came through just you yeah know. yeah yeah like what is it called uh, the Mormons yeah, do yeah, like yeah. soaking yeah they just don't move what is that where it's like a wick I think they just <laughs> keep the dick in the pussy and don't move and if they don't move it's not sex yeah it, what, mm, what, so the ferments it just yeah you just kind of make like a kombucha <laughs> cum. You make a scoby. Yeah. No, what they do at like like their colleges, like BYU. Another component of soaking is you get on the top bunk, you soak, so you dock your penis, and then you just lay on the woman flat. You know, like you're doing like you're planking. Yeah. And then somebody gets on the bunk underneath you, and they put their feet up and they kick the mattress underneath you. So their kicking makes you makes the dick go in and out of the pussy. Oh, yeah, they have to have all these loopholes. What? Mm-hmm. So you're, because you can't actually thrust? Yeah, so it's like you're not thrusting, you just, you're sticking your dick in, and then, you know, it's like being on an ocean cruise liner, and the the ocean is making you fuck the yeah. person. Yeah. I have the hardest time contemplating that at it's, all. You know, it's like Jews on the Sabbath, where they're like, I can't turn the oven on, but I can, you know, pay somebody to go. Right, right, right. Do right. the exact same thing for mm. me. Yeah. But you're doing that with like coming. Some, so you so you have your buddy on the bottom bunk like a kangaroo on its back, mm-hmm. just sort of just sort of like uh, fucking just going to town on your where yeah. your asses on like the mattress. one of those Chinese ladies on America's Got Talent like spinning yeah. chairs on her feet. You have your mom come in and <laughs> your mom comes in and pushes you like you're on a swing set, <laughs> <laughs> and you go higher, you go, higher, higher, mom. <laughs> But I'm not fucking you. It's her. Yeah. Hmm. God. Man, pathetic. Everyone should just do whatever they want at any time. Yeah, Mormons are really weird about it. I've been reading... That's um, a cock cage right there. That's a cock cage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's your classic cock that's cage. That's a cock cage. That's a peanut. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. These are just... These allowed Jesus. on YouTube? I don't know. Just, I really don't yeah, know Yeah, might now. have to... Blur. Yeah. Don't, yeah. <laughs> Maybe good advice. Don't Google cock cage and yeah. just randomly go through images. Well, dude, I'm literally on a government website. There's a lot of stuff on Wikipedia that's got like cocks. Of course on the it. government came up with cock cages. <laughs> this is the Reagan administration. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna flood the hood with cock cages. First step, we get them on cocaine, so they're docile. <laughs> Second one, we get those big cocks. Nancy's gonna suck them. We gotta get them, we gotta get them caged up. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole point of the yeah. prison industrial complex is to get black cocks behind bars. Get black mm-hmm. cocks behind bars, but they're like, God, they're attached to the body. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, ask Henry Kissinger if we can remove the black dicks yeah. and put those behind bars. Nancy Reagan just has Mr. T's cock in like a big cage. <laughs> yeah, she breaks into the warehouse where they're keeping all the black cocks and just sucks them. <laughs> Like, it's like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. Like sunflower seeds. Yeah, she's just picking them out of the ground. <laughs> yeah, sucking them like they're like like oysters, just... <laughs> and then just throwing them. Yeah, treating them like crawfish. <laughs> Put them on a cracker and just... <laughs> wearing a bib. Wearing a, wearing a dare bib. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> she has a lobster bib, but it just has a black cock across the front of it. <laughs> just dipping uh, it in cum like it's butter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say no to drugs. Say no to drugs. Say no to AIDS drugs specifically. Kids. Exactly. Yeah. I'm looking at the patent, the U.S. patent for a cock cage. Uh, Jonas E. Heiser. Uh, in 1911. Oh, that would have been way cooler if it was Jonas Salk. <laughs> He's like, I've done a bunch of things. Right. And you keep going. Like, people keep being like, dude, polio. Like that. He's like. He's like, I'm more of a fan of the cock cage. <laughs> <laughs> He's like an artist who resents his big hit song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, but the cock cage is like where it's at. Yeah, enough know? of that radio shit. <laughs> the polio vaccine. Who gives a shit? I, li- I thought they looked funny when they walked. <laughs> He's all he's all annoyed he invented the cure for polio because he was like getting he was like laughing his ass off and everyone <laughs> fucking falling over. Have you seen a kid in an iron lung? It's hilarious. <laughs> they get blown all over the fucking place. They're not big enough for it. Their legs die. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. The iron lung itself was very funny. They're like, we have no cure, but we can put you in a giant steel lung. Yeah. That I think just like crushes and expands your body. Yeah, it, it kills you, right? It doesn't really does, no. it, does an iron lung keep you actually alive for that long? Is I that think, what you look like in an iron lung? Yeah, it's a big tube that you lay in. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. And you just are supposed to like have people come into the room and just <laughs> talk to you about life. Dude, Wait, is that guy a Dallas attorney? It's a, yes, his Dallas attorney yeah. 72 who survived polio lives in iron lung. <laughs> that's, it's, um, that's Larry Hagman. <laughs> Dude, can you imagine you're pulling up? That's your public defender. <laughs> <laughs> your honor. Yeah. You're just like a black teenager. You're like, I want my lawyer. <laughs> they, they wheel this guy in and set his head on his a, little, a little desk pillow. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking out of a straw. <laughs> what? So this thing he uses to like change the channel? Like it's, he grabs it's a little pencil? He grabs the tube with his mouth and then I think he, yeah, like with a, he, he tries to write with it. Yeah. He grabs the tube and <laughs> tries to push the trigger of a gun. Yeah. <laughs> aim directly at his head. So when you're in an iron lung, you're, you basically live in an egg and you've just, ha- you've barely hatched. Your head is just out of it and mm-hmm. you're stuck in an egg for the rest of your yeah, life. Yeah. It's an incubator for Dallas attorneys <laughs> like this man. <laughs> this fucking Chuck McGill guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, that sucks. What's the point of life if you're in that thing? If you live in an egg, it's like Bubble Boy. I think yeah. it'd be cool to be an egg. I mean, like also like the amount of people who have to like fuck with you, you know? Okay, mm-hmm. now I'm kind of into it because look, <laughs> look, feeding them. Yeah, you got to have a bitch. First of all, an she, old, an old. Yeah, you know she hasn't been getting any because his dick is inside this thing. She probably gets on the fucking tube and rides that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. She like fucks the tube. Uh, yeah. Dude, that rules. He, he shouldn't be doing carbs. He can't get any exercise. He should be doing strictly keto. Yeah. He should be doing proteins only. Yeah, yeah. There is part of me where there's always like that story where it's like, here's the, the fucking human body pillow guy mm. with no arms or legs. And then like, here's his beautiful bride. And it's like... Who's staying with these people? Yeah, you're like, you, there is kind of part of me that's like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, I mean, like that lady's insane. Like, was he that charming? <laughs> <laughs> he lives inside of a submarine. <laughs> His body is kept preserved in a weird yeah. submarine. Well, he looks like he's about to get shot out like a torpedo. <laughs> you might as well just marry yeah. a human head. Look at that. He looks like a deranged pool toy. <laughs> Do you think she uh, sets her pussy on top of him? She probably lets... Yeah, he, lets like, she sits on his face. She sits yeah. on his face and he hates it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like the only spark that they have left. Yeah. Oh, you probably, I mean, it's like he can't even like get out of the house. Yeah. He can't get away from her. She's still asking him to like b- build a bookshelf She's still, and stuff. Yeah, still. <laughs> She's pissed off. Or She's my, like, it's been in the box for like two months. Don't do it no matter how long. My grandfather had emphysema. He was, he had an oxygen tank. He could barely walk five mm-hmm. steps without gasping for air and needing to sit down. And my grandma made him like fix the TV contrast one time. And he was like on his knees with his, like with his inhaler. And he's mm-hmm. like, he's like, honey, I'm trying. And she's just screaming at him. God. I know. To the grave. To the grave. <laughs> to the grave. It never yeah. ends. I remember I watched him get like a massive fight with her one time and I'm like, he can't walk. <laughs> like, what? what's your problem? I, know, I think that's when they double down because they know you can't escape. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You yeah. can't even like get like go play around a golf or so something. What, what's happening in there? 
What's going on? So it's a, it's a, I think it's a pressurized tube. Is he just jacking off the yeah. whole time? There's actually a smaller guy in there who's, yeah. who's sucking him off. It's actually just, it's a giant flashlight. <laughs> yeah, he's inside a giant pussy. <laughs> Dude, that would rule to be a little tiny and like crawl inside crawl a big inside pussy. Crawl inside a big pussy? Yeah. I know. God. Be like a fucking wet, you know, fucking uh, sleeping bag. Ah, that would be, that. that's probably the pinnacle of life. <laughs> I bet you, I will say in terms of cons of living in an iron lung, I bet plenty of doctors have molested this chap. <laughs> How do you molest? What do you like? Fuck his nostrils? No, you just, like, you, just his head. You just rub your cock over his face. <laughs> yeah. And you go, what yeah. are you going to do about it, bitch? You I just drag they, your balls across his head. Yeah, they don't even molest him. They're like, this is kind of gay, but I'm going to stick my cock on your yeah. head. Mm-hmm. This does look like a machine designed by a Jamaican nurse <laughs> that just wanted to fucking brutalize right. her All right. patient. Put him, put him in the torture machine. <laughs> put him in the torture machine, man. <laughs> Holy White shit. White bitch. Yeah. All right, I just got called down to beat the shit out of an oh, Alzheimer's patient. Look, if it isn't Ed Dasner. <laughs> oh, you're stuck in your little machine, man. Well, I'm going to beat you to death with my titties. <laughs> I'm going to put on up and beat you to death. <laughs> I might put on some goat link and beat you to death with my titties, man. <laughs> you fucking racist <laughs> you old fucking white fuck. Old ra- my family hired me to whip you with my hair. <laughs> Look at him with his Dude, fucking he's straws. Fucking, he's fucking logged in. Dude. Dude. Look, he's fucking posted, he's logged in. He's posting yeah, the yeah. gamer words. He's, <laughs> he's listening to Lemon Party right now. <laughs> Can't they flip him over so we can see the TV not from upside down? I know, that is pretty cruel. He lives yeah. like, a, like if General Patton was a bat. <laughs> I will, I will say if I had severe body dysmorphia, I would love to live in an iron lung. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just imagine like them taking him to the beach, just pushing him into the water when with I was like, a, their foot. Mm-hmm. When I was a kid, that mo- remember that movie Bubble Boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to kind of be like, man, I wish I was like living in a bubble. <laughs> now they can't. Now people are too fat for the bubble. No, not, they people have made themselves into Bubble Boy. <laughs> now, now the FDA has been like, we're just gonna we'll put we'll put Bubble Boy ingredients in mm-hmm. the food. Mm-hmm. It'll turn all of you into right. Bubble so Boys. he can he can bounce down the road yeah. and land in a big train. Yeah, yeah. You all live in a in a prison of your own making. Right. You're gonna try and buy a ticket from Zach Galifianakis and yeah. then get hit by a car and bounce down the road. Oh yeah, he's in that. Your body is technically a, a Rikers Island. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a real thing, though, living in a bubble. No, it's a real thing. I think it is. Some, yeah. There's some weird people doing it somewhere. Yeah, it's like if, really? you, if you don't have an immune system. Pretty much everything you think <laughs> couldn't happen is somewhat happening somewhere. Yeah. Someone's trying. You can't make up a new disease, really. Yeah. Even if you're like, a guy turns into a tree. It's like India's got like 18 of those guys. And, and then there's also people that can just be so dead set in having an ailment that is is not diagnosable, but they've come up with their own diagnosis that mm-hmm. like doctors and shit will just be like, I, I, I guess you have that. Yeah. Like, you know, there's my, oh. like, in, like in Better Call Saul, like, like his brother who's like a, a allergic to electricity or whatever, mm-hmm. you know, like my dad said he like, like I think I've said before, he said he knows the guy that invented iPhones. <laughs> He met him, right? Mm-hmm. And the guy like can't be around electricity. He like lives in a Holiday Inn, like in like Palmdale, mm-hmm. like away from like electrical wires or whatever. But I'm like, that guy's just like a mm-hmm. neurotic asshole Correct. that's fucking making everyone pretend mm-hmm. he has a real disease that is not in any doctor. Like no one would ever diagnose this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw. They, I saw they a lady, say outlandish things. I saw a lady going viral on TikTok. She was like a. She just looked like a real estate agent in her mid fifties. And she's posting on her phone. She's like, I went over to a friend's house. They refuse to turn the Wi-Fi off, even though I have I have e- a- like fake electronic disease. I think she called it fake electronic fake. disease. She it fake. <laughs> even though I have this fake disease I pretend to have because I was molested so many times. <laughs> right. And she's po- she's filming herself on her phone. Yeah. Which yeah, right, has right, a right, fucking... Oh, right. She can't hold the battery. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen Better Call Saul. Yeah, you get it. Yeah. yeah. You're up to that episode. Yeah. Yeah. I am. Chicanery. Season four. Hey guys, if you know me, I've been trying to find a way to keep my energy level steady throughout the day, and coffee on its own just wasn't cutting it. Thankfully, I found this little shot. I've started using Magic Mine, and it became my best friend. Um, it helps me so much getting through the day with like, like those like that. 2 p.m. groggy feeling that you get. Yes. It helps you like burst right through that. Yep, that midday. So instead of reaching for like a second or third or fourth cup of coffee to keep my energy levels, 
Now I just take this little shot every morning alongside my first cup of coffee, and I'm good for to go for the rest of the day. It allows me to drink less coffee, reduces my need for additional caffeine by extending the benefits of caffeine, and by making my less caffeine do more and less, last longer. It makes me more productive and more focused. I get more done in less time thanks to the nootropics inside that improve attention, concentration, and cognition. It also allows me to sleep better. It's not heavy on caffeine, so you can take it in the afternoon without worrying about not being able to fall asleep at night. So you can avoid that cup of coffee at 5 p.m. that keeps you up and triggers this whole cycle. It also has ashwagandha root in it, which is an adaptogen that reduces stress and anxiety. Seeing how well it works for me, I would really encourage you to try it out as well if you're having trouble not being at 100% some days. It's a total game changer. So I totally recommend you go check them out at magicmind.com slash lemon and join a community of go-getters. You can also use my discount code lemon to get up to 56% off your first subscription or 20% off your first one-time purchase. My 56% off code Only lasts 10 days, so hurry up. Display is a -a one-of-a-kind metal poster designed to capture your unique passions. Display created a 21st century canvas that's sturdy, magnet-mounted, and durable enough to withstand a lifetime of intense staring. But staring is only half the fun. You can customize, collect, and rearrange them at will. Display has both branded and artistic work. They have over 1 million designs available for everyone, including official designs from brands like Marvel, DC, Star Wars, Netflix, and NASA, plenty of games, and movies. If you like something, they most likely have the design for it. I've been on this website. They got almost everything you can think of. Devin, in fact, that uh, that South Park poster right there? Oh, yeah. You should uh, hold that up for the folks at home. Yay. Isn't that epic? Yeah. As Isn't long that as, an epic win? As long as you don't do the voice, retard. <laughs> This play has been branded and it's just a artwork. Don't do the voice, it's cringe. <laughs> is this cringe? When you ben, do you're the, being very cringe. You right do the now. voice, it's cringe. All right. You cringe. The sponsors keep emailing and saying Ben is cringe for doing the South <laughs> yeah, Park they're, voice. They're pulling all advertisements because I'm too cringe. Mm-hmm. The sponsors think you're cringe. So just so you know. Okay, fine. You're, you're cringe. Uh,. Oh, the game. So the ones I like were the South Park ones a lot, and I also got a Lord of the Rings one that was very sick, and I uh, also got one for Katie of that little bunny that's cute holding the chick, and it says "different is beautiful." Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like for like a gay teenager's like room mm-hmm. that yeah. you got. Yeah, it's it's for a fourteen year old Japanese lady. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, each product is a high quality design printed on metal in Europe and hand signed by their master of production. Display created a unique, easy, safe magnet mounting system that only takes 20 seconds. No need for drilling your walls. All you need to do is wipe your wall with a cleaning wipe, stick a protective leaf, place a magnet, and put the display on your wall. It's that easy. Uh, Display delivers its products worldwide in only four to five business days. It's a perfect alternative for standard paper posters that often get damaged and doesn't leave marks on the wall. They're also eco-friendly. For every design sold, they are planting one tree. That's awesome. Use the link in the description or go to displate.com slash lemon party and use code lemon at checkout to get 20% off for one to two displates or 30% off for three and more displates. 30%. That's, that's a heck that's of a deal. That's a lot of money. You put like a, you put like a period before it and something times it by something. And mm. that's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That. Yep. Yeah, Imagine that. Like it, you may, yeah, I do 20% tip at places and I'm always like really annoyed at what I have to give mm. the piece of shit that served me. But mm. 30%, that's you, so much more. And I'd get, be even more annoyed and you get it off. But this is for a good thing. I'm yeah, not right. tipping a server. It's like you're yeah. tipping yourself. Exactly. This yeah. isn't some CPK waiter. <laughs> well, display. Collect your passions. Yo, booyah, crush up! What is that? I don't know. Summer's coming. Are you ready to unveil your beach bod? Manscaped is here to ensure your body is ready for the wild with their game-changing full body grooming and hygiene products. Don't be the guy at the beach with Austin Powers chest hair. And if you grew some winter man tits, the least you can do is make sure they're hairless. It's time to get ready for hot guy summer by going to manscaped.com for 20% off plus free shipping with code LEMONPARTY. 
Uh, Manscaped's dedicated to helping you increase your confidence and level up your full body grooming game with the Performance Package 4.0. The kit comes with the Essential Lawnmower 4.0 Waterproof Cordless Body Trimmer and a ton of other liquid formulations to round out your grooming routine. I, I personally use the lawnmower. It really kicks ass. Love that little guy. But whether you're trimming your chest or the treasure chest in your pants, this is the best trimmer on the market. Their trimmer features a ceramic blade designed to cut hair on loose skin and to reduce grooming accidents thanks to advanced skin safe technology. You can even trim an arrow pointing to the promised land if you're bold enough. Inside the performance package, you also find the Manscaped Crop Preserver, Ball Deodorant, and Cop Reviver Ball Toner. Those are great. I've used them. They're yeah. good. Very good. Yeah, right, I've Devin? used them on my dick and ass. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah I've used them on my pussy. Uh, an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer because we know how painful chafing can be when you're wearing your bathing suit all Especially day. Especially when you're fat as shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which I am. Uh, no one likes nose hairs, so their package also comes with the Weed Wagger 2.0. Those are great. Use those, too. Yeah. You can also get two free gifts. The Shed Travel Bag, which is a $39 value, man, and the patented high-performance reduced chafing Manscaped boxers. If you're wearing sandals, you need to get the Manscaped Shears 2.0 nail kit. Folks, they have it all. Go get all your grooming needs settled. Uh, having the right tools for grooming is essential. Do yourself a favor and always use the right tools for the job. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code LEMONPARTY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code LEMONPARTY at manscaped.com. Trim your chesticles with the besticles. Uh, there, By the way, there was one one boy who uh, lived in a bubble in like the 70s. Really? But other than that, I am not showing anything about John, people living John in bubbles. John Travolta played him in a movie. That was John Travolta's first big movie. It was called like The Boy in the Bubble. Mm. Really? Yeah. And he was like in the bubble. He's like, I can't, I can't fuck the girl I like. Oh fuck, I'm gay. I'm secretly gay. It's kind of crazy. John Travolta got his kid killed because he just wouldn't give him an Advil. <laughs> I know his son like jet airplane. Yeah, his Travolta. son was like literally dying, and they just like they could have saved him if they gave him any medicine. But they're signed. They believe in aliens or whatever. Man, right. this movie must really suck dick. He's like, yo, you guys, disco night in the bubble. Come on. Come on. I'm in a bubble. I can't sneak down to LA Fitness and suck off guys. Oh, come on. <laughs> guys. <laughs> Do you remember that that went viral like maybe five years ago where mm-hmm. it was like John Travolta oh, yeah. meets a lucky fan? And it was like the story. It was like in fucking the Today Show. It was like a, a local man was working out at the LA Fitness at 4 a.m. in the morning. Oh. And who would happen to walk up and strike a conversation but John Travolta? John Travolta. Travolta. <laughs> John Travolta, the reason that L.A. has no cruising signs. <laughs> the reason they took the shower curtains off of the restrooms at L.A. Fitness. Yeah, they, they changed like zoning laws in, mm-hmm. in gyms. Because John yeah. Travolta was so gay. There's a bunch I of like they've scrubbed deleted it. scenes from Greece of him just getting massages. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally typing in John Travolta, gym gay, and nothing is coming up. Oh, they've wiped. I mean, he's done. His team has done a great job with him, but he's yeah, he's gay as hell. Yeah, and he won't take it anymore. That- <laughs> he's I'm gay, gay as, as hell. hell. And I won't take it anymore. <laughs> I'm sucking everyone's cock at the network. Oh, here we go. Stick your, do me a favor. Go to your window. Stick your ass out and <laughs> let me fuck it. Succession, but it's all about being gay. <laughs> you have to be a sucker. You have to suck. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, maybe um, I um, don't. Um, he goes. You don't suck balls. You don't tickle the balls while you suck the shaft. <laughs> you don't actually suck on the balls. It hurts. <laughs> Women think we like it. We don't. It hurts a uh, lot. You're unserious, cum guzzlers. <laughs> well, okay. Maybe I'm. I'm just soft right now. Uh, but if you well, uh, uh, suck it for a little bit, uh, Shiv's like, Dad's just like been sucking cock his whole life. Like, who gives a shit? <laughs> Yeah, there was uh, man. Succession. Yeah, there was. Hell yeah, Ben. Hell yeah. Yeah, with Brian Cox. Hell Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Brian sucks Cox. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Lo- Logan, right. Logan, Sweet. What, what about if he was Logan Boy? That's so fucking <laughs> sick, dude. Because yeah, he's a pedophile. Fuck yeah, dude. Donate to the Patreon, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, us in five years. Yeah. Just like, what if it's like fucking. Fucking Logan Gay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. 
I'm trying. What but is there this? Was... This website is consumed by ants. I know. This is every website now, though. Is this is this actually what I think? Who are these is? retards? Oh, here oh, we yeah, go. This yeah, is yeah, the yeah. photo. Yeah. Well, I think this is it. Is this him meeting people? Uh, in we've prison? all had our celebrity sightings, but how many can say that it was the celebrity that actually wanted to chat us up? Not very many. That's what reportedly happened to one fan working out at a Planet Fitness in Florida <laughs> at 3 a.m. John Travolta is said to have approached <laughs> this unidentified wait, wait, man. Pause it. Striking up a friendly conversation. Planet Fitness also. Yeah. Planet Fitness is where homeless people go to like shower and stuff. That's yeah. where the bottom of the barrel for truckers. That's where yeah. I, we knew a ton of comics that used to like do road dates and they would just get a Planet Fitness mm. membership mm-hmm. and they would like live there. Yeah, there's a, like half of the people at Planet Fitness are there for their own survival. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's people who have a whole scheme based yes. around surviving. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you if know? you have a Planet Fitness membership, it's be it's for the shelter. Yeah, it's for people who like I'm a hustler, but for like my teeth not falling out. <laughs> Because I need a place to brush. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, even, like, if you tried to, like, have gay sex in a Planet Fitness, the homeless people would start yelling at you. Yeah. I mean, it, this is so funny. This guy also looks kind of like an inmate. It's like, I, I love the idea, like, John Travolta, like, just keeps visiting prisons, and his whole team is like, why are you, why are you obsessed with prisons? Like, well, I don't know. Yeah, like, he's like Johnny Cash. Yeah, he yeah. just keeps getting fucked in the showers. <laughs> he's like, I'll shower with them. I'm a, I'm a man of the people. Yeah, I gotta do, we're doing um, Face Off 2, yeah. so I gotta spend a year in prison. <laughs> he's like, you guys, I just, I met a guy, he has a squirrel, he's really cool. <laughs> There's an old guy who owns a bird he feeds. He fucks me in the ass. <laughs> yeah, it, it rules. He's got to talk to this guy. And he's like, you can come out to my car. He can talk really quiet. Like, yeah, come out to my car. I got, I got the bubble from 1977. I still got the bubble. I get in the bubble. No questions asked. <laughs> I still I'll got put the, put the bubble. I'll put the money in cash on the dash. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get in the bubble. And you just do your thing, man. Yeah. All over the he's, bubble, yeah. man. He's like, you know what they call uh, gay sex in uh, Holland? <laughs> he's like, nah. Nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Striking up a friendly conversation. By the way, he, you think he's yacked out at 3 a.m.? He's desperate. He's not desperate and horny. He's on poppers. Yeah, he doesn't He doesn't strike me as the guy who takes coke with There's, that like blank yeah. face. He's on poppers. He, like, yeah, he looks like he huffs free bo- like keyboard cleaner or something. Yeah. Mm, There's just mm. shit falling out of him. <laughs> sure. Everything <laughs> is relaxed. Sure. When he's Taking at the Planet the Fitness at 3 a.m. <laughs> Without his hair. Yeah, his ass looks like the tube. <laughs> he's at a Planet Fitness in like Albuquerque. Yeah, it looks like a water slide. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Slitterbond. <laughs> yeah. Little families are like going up inside of yeah. his ass. Getting shot around a loop to loop. Yeah. He calls his asshole Raging Waters. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a uh, fucking splash mountain. Splash There's <laughs> little black bears and rabbits inside his ass. It looks like Song of the South. Yeah, there's there's a little rabbit going like, well, it looks like we're in John Travolta's ass again. <laughs> you just going by in a shit inner tube. <laughs> yeah, ladies and folks, why well, ain't never been in such a gay ass in my life? Uh, I'm gonna see what happens after this. Now the hairspray star, known for his. Uh, Hairspray? We're going with the hairspray? That's how we're going <laughs> to talk about hairspray. Okay, we got the clip of it. Yeah. Uh, he's been known for his friendly encounters. Uh, he chatted up an engaged couple in a bar. He showed up at their wedding the next day. So, this the guy maybe had a heck of an experience with John Travolta. Yeah. I forgot he was in hairspray. Oh, I didn't God. know he was like the Disney 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 Disney. Disney. Fuck you! <laughs> I hate these websites now. Uh, I do have the idea of imagining like you trying to get like pussy at like 3 a.m. and then it ends up on the news yeah you know like you texting a girl like who lives an hour and a half away and, and then you a- drive there and then all of a sudden you're on abc monday yeah morning. the next morning it's on good morning america yeah it's like jace avery drove to ventura county to try and get pussy <laughs> and did not <laughs> oh shit oh what? my god he's cruising He's yeah. cruising all you. around LA. He's cruising. He's cruising for a bruise. Oh, no, Reddit blew this story wide open. Oh, yeah. More stories of John Travolta meeting late night gym goers emerge on Reddit. Uh oh. Uh oh, Johnny. Yeah, and the LA, well, g- the LA gyms are notorious for. Why does he keep taking. They're brothels. Yeah. Why does he keep taking pictures with them? I know, that's the thing. <laughs> Uh, some guys, so this guy on Reddit said, I thought I was at the gym by myself at 3 a.m. Then this guy comes up to me and introduces himself, including the photo attached of him with the Grease star. And he says, uh, Reddit, uh, yeah, so apparently he comes up to a lot of people at like 3 in the morning at gyms. Yeah. Someone says, happened to me too a while back. Super nice guy. 
Huh. Then things took a turn. Well, well, what turn? What turn did it take? Wait, where? 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 The, 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 when then things over. took a turn. The next Reddit user to come forward, user Michelangelo, wrote of an alleged encounter. Michelangelo wrote of an alleged encounter that proved to be quite steamy, though he did not, not include, include a, a photo, photo to okay. verify his claim. Well, I want to know. Let me scroll past these ads of his, it's, it's someone right. who looks like Kim Kardashian, <laughs> who's Mexican. Uh, it was a warm summer night in the year 2000. Although the 24 fitness sport in Santa Monica is certainly the busiest gym I've ever seen, it was normally as empty as the streets at 3 a.m. Santa Monica at 3 a.m. is, is yeah. dead quiet. On this particular night, however, I wasn't alone. Uh, he claimed Travolta followed him around the gym as he oh worked out. Oh, my God. Man, he is really... John wow. Travolta's for the streets. I know. Well, it's funny is he's, he has like every gym membership, apparently. He's yeah. at Planet Fitness. He's at 24-Hour Fitness. He hits them all night like they're brothels. <laughs> he hits each one. He hits 24 yeah. Planet. He hits Equinox. Yeah, imagine him trying to cancel Planet Fitness because he's he's just not getting laid there. Yeah. But he, he doesn't realize you have to take the letter in person to cancel. He's so pissed off about his ten dollars. <laughs> Has to like fly his shitty plane that his son died on to Florida, <laughs> and like go in and be like, "I here I'm turning I'm canceling because I didn't get any dick mm-hmm. at the at these gyms." Uh, it, you know what's even more sad is if he's not a gay guy he and is. he's in fact just a uh, a regular guy. Yeah, and he's really lonely at three. And at three in the morning, he just realizes he has no real friends in his life because he's so famous and has so much money. Everybody's friends with him to just get something from him, and he feels really alone and that hollow. Would be worse. So he goes to see if someone will go. Hey, aren't you John Travolta? Or maybe he wants to see if people don't recognize him and don't know who he is. It's like when Chappelle went to Africa because he said no one knew who he was when yeah. he was there. Yeah. Travolta's trying to find someone who doesn't know who he is so he can make a like a dear friend. Yeah. Th- and they can go to like swingers together and, you know, talk about some some screenplay this guy's trying to sell and yeah. you know. Unfortunately, that's not the case. He's gay as hell. <laughs> <laughs> he's been hiding it for uh, yeah. his well, whole life. No, I'm I'm completely wrong here. I mean, the uh, massage therapy, like all those accounts, like there's so oh, many. Oh, yeah. He he kept trying to get jerked yeah. off at massage he's places. Constantly, mm. He's constantly, hi- always hiring male But he's never and... getting jerked off. No. He's always failing. I mean, he can't even give his kid Advil when he's dying. So, like, you know, he doesn't go through with a lot. God, how pathetic are you that you're a, an in-shape gay guy in LA and you can't get gay pussy? Mm-hmm. You can't not get getting, laid. You're yeah, not, get, not getting dick as a gay guy seems almost impossible, you know? How do you not? It's, like I'm not gay. I've almost like had gay guys fuck me. I'm yeah. not even kidding. I was. You remember we were at dude. You remember we were at swingers, dude. Yeah, fucking crazy. We were at swingers, which is not a, a gay sex place. No, it's, it's a, a diner. diner. It's a diner. Yeah. At like maybe two a.m. packed. Yeah. yeah, packed. Yeah, we were there like twelve. We were there like midnight, and I walk to the. It's like one of those big single occupancy bathrooms, and I walk in. There's a guy who comes. Like he looks like fucking an Armenian wolf man. Like he's like fifty and yeah. just looks like one of those guys from Mexico with the hair all over his yeah. bodies. And he like I open the door and he's just standing in front of the door looking at me. I go, Oh, sorry. And then like I let the door close on him. And then eventually like minutes later he comes out and he goes out the door, like holds it open for me, and I go in and then he follows me into the fucking bathroom. Like closes the door and like looks and we're just facing each other in a single and I'm just like I'm like, dude, get the fuck out of here and like I push him. Uh huh. Just because I, I don't know. I was He's like, like, oh, I like it rough. <laughs> Let's do that again. Yeah, I push. I go, what the fuck? And then he comes immediately. <laughs> He's like, all right, I got what I want. <laughs> He's like, I got. And then he yeah, throws two 20s at me. Do you remember there was a guy in a booth in a gimp outfit? Like the Pulp Fiction gimp outfit. Yeah. It's West Hollywood, so it wasn't oh, like that right, crazy. Okay. I was wondering, where the fuck were you guys? Yeah. And you're like, West oh, West Hollywood. The yeah. gayest part of mm-hmm. America. It was probably yeah. the mayor of West Hollywood. Yeah. <laughs> the mayor of West Hollywood is a guy in a suit with a full gimp outfit under the suit. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, it literally could have just been Joe Buck. Probably. Was that his name? Joe Buck? Ed Buck. Ed Buck? Joe Sorry. Buck does a play uh, by play for Fox. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Totally yeah. He's just guy. like, to the balls. Yeah. To the dick. Yeah. <laughs> And he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> to the shaft, he's working it. Oh, he's working it, and he came. Wow. <laughs> I think we- Antonio Brown taken down to the dumpster. <laughs> that is a disgusting ass by Randy Moss. 
absolutely disgusting ass. I think we've already talked about Ed Buck on here, haven't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But for the people that haven't heard that episode, he's a guy who donates money to Democratic organizations and is good friends with Hillary Clinton. And he would fuck homeless black guys yeah. in West Hollywood. And then inject them with tons of drugs yeah, and kill them. inject them with like uh, torpedo oil, like stuff that the uh, Joaquin Phoenix and the Master drinks. Mm-hmm. He would like inject them with crazy stuff after fucking them under on a mattress and there were a bunch of skulls on the wall on a red light. It was like weirdly satanic. And then he would just uh, like leave them on, like on the like they were trash. Like he would like those. take them out to the trash cans, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and they'd be like, eh, "He did this for years, one. apparently. For years he did this." Yeah, and that's the most normal <sighs> Hillary Clinton friend, honestly. Right? How does yeah. that guy not get killed? He's just a rich gay guy in Beverly Hills. Yeah, you know? I guess th- that's her rule. She's like, "I don't kill gays." <laughs> She's like, I only, I only assassinate straights. Yeah. <laughs> So like I've only, she draws I, the I, line. Only, I only kill women who who sucked off Bill. Those are the women <laughs> I kill. That's why that's why I draw the line. and all the children I murdered. The, the 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 whole thing with the Clinton body count. The only hole in it is uh, why didn't Monica Lewinsky like fall down a stairwell in a parking garage? You're too fat. Couldn't do it. Wow. I wonder if they tried to kill her a bunch of times, but she was too fat. Mm-hmm. They kept the uh, like poisoning her. Yeah. But it was it wasn't a high enough dosage. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like they give her like a whole gram of niacin, but it just gets wrapped in in high fructose corn syrup. Or I mean, right through her body. Yeah, yeah. It just goes. It goes into the outer. Yeah. The outer membrane. It gets swallowed by corn like a big orb. It yeah. just like floats through her body. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Like one of those things that's designed to like help old people if they fall down. Mm-hmm. Those full body parachutes. <laughs> what are those? Have you seen that? No, I don't think so. That's like a thing they have in Japan where if there's like really old people, they give them like just a suit that just like if they start to fall, the whole suit turns into a big bubble. Help me out with the search uh, words here, buddy. Ja- um, Japanese bubble suit. Um, yeah. F- Japanese parachute elderly, for old people. Elderly parachute. Parachute. Uh, no, nah, that's just a nah, bunch of. These are just. It's a bunch of kamikazes. Just, yeah. This is just, these are just Elderly. suicidal. Uh, bubble? Uh, maybe airbag suit, just airbag suit. I don't know, just type Is in. that it for the head? Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is it right here? That thing? <laughs> what the fuck? Why doesn't it let me zoom in? Yeah, Japanese bitch. company makes airbags for the elderly. This is Hell for yeah. like, this is for if you want to like do Pearl Harbor, but like on the moon. <laughs> That's yeah, crazy. To safely be a kamikaze. Yeah. Yeah. That's insane. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So if you that. fall it, it it pops open? Yeah, it just like expands like an actual airbag. It oh. just like wraps around you. Oh yeah. shit, you can get them on eBay. Yeah. We should get Joey one of these, honestly. Yeah, Joey should have one of these. When he's too drunk. He <laughs> Even if he doesn't fall, we can just disable him by like just punching the thing. Joey's a little too drunk. Get his elderly airbag <laughs> on. <laughs> So it's it's in a black leather. So it's like a biker. Mm-hmm. It's like a biker gang leather vest. Yeah. It's it, with it. It looks less gay with it ejected. Mm-hmm. A b- little black leather vest with it with it ejected. It almost looks like a Balenciaga outfit mm-hmm. or something. Like I could see Kanye wearing this. Like yeah, I last could, right. year. I could see Sam Smith uh, singing with this on, <laughs> with like devil horns and stuff. Yeah, that sucks ass. Have you guys seen videos of him? Uh, like he's all fat and he's dressed up like the devil mm-hmm. and he's rubbing his man pussy. Yeah, he's, yeah, like, he's, he's obsessed like, with that. He's like in fat Moulin Rouge now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's in like fat gay Moulin Rouge. Yeah, look, he's like all he's like I'm fat. I'm the fat devil. <laughs> look at that. God, he looks like utter shit. I've seen so many videos of fans in the front row taking video of him, and everyone in the comments is like, "Jesus Christ, buddy, you look disgusting." Well, he is because he type, takes his shirt off. He has that type of thing where he, can you zoom in on that picture, the one with his face right there in that interview? This one. He has like that thing where he gains weight and he looks like he has mold on him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> like his yeah, yeah. his neck turns into like Beetlejuice skin a little bit. Yeah, with yeah, his, I like get moss that. and shit. I feel that. Yeah, Man, mental illness kicks ass. <laughs> it's so funny what it does to people. I know he was the one during the beginning of COVID. Remember, he was like crying, and he's like, "I just feel like I can't go anywhere." And he was like, literally, like the Taj Mahal is behind him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's in Venice. He's like, "I just feel like I haven't seen any sights." <laughs> oh God, yeah, that looks like absolute shit. He looks like he has a pussy. Do they get pussies? He might. 
You know, he's rich enough. He, he he's rich enough. To he could get he could get a he looks he like get a beautiful he designed pudding. the pitchfork because he needed to. He want it was a fork for the biggest food. That's right. He I I think people. <laughs> by the way, I think people like him. Like when you're this, when you are this wealthy and well known, you might just get a pussy as a flex. Yeah, yeah. just to show that you can afford it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's yeah. like having the fifth McLaren. You don't need it, but yeah. you just want every. They color. get a pussy like a second phone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You show up at like some millionaire's party. You're like, check it out, new huge pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes to the doctor, and he specifically goes, "How big can you make my pussy?" Mm-hmm. They go, well, how big's your dick? And he goes, well, it's tiny. He goes, I want it to be like a cooler. <laughs> you want to like be able to fit like sandwiches and I lots nev- of stuff. I never fucking realized if you're trans, you get to choose, and you get the post op surgery, you get to choose what kind of pussy you have. Do you? Yeah. Do you get to do it like when you buy like a flashlight and it's like modeled <laughs> after the porn star's pussy? You'd be like, give me the Asa Akira. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can I get the Bailey J? Yeah, please. <laughs> you can also do that with the the fucking. Um, when you become a man, you can pick your dick. Pick basically. your type of penis. I've heard they can give them huge dicks, by the way. Can you get, like, give me the Lexington steel? <laughs> yeah. I think so. That's crazy. That's, an unconditional... That's enough of a reason to become. Mm-hmm. I'm going to become a woman so can I can I become a Can I be a, a man guy. that is a trans man that it... becomes trans? I just want a new dick. <laughs> <laughs> I want a big floppy dick that doesn't really yeah. work. Yeah. Well, because it's like it's like a mound. I think it looks like, like um, you know those toys you had when you were a kid that's like the gel thing the tube that you'd stick your finger in yeah yeah oh yeah and i yeah. like the glitter like it kind of looks like that and then to get it hard there's like a, a tube inside of it and you have to like blow it up by like squeezing the balls i think oh. and it's like it's literally like those shoes oh, from the yeah. 90s where you would blow them up yeah from the sandlot yeah or and, whatever and that's yeah. how you would get like from like mike and that's how oh, you would yeah, get yeah, an that's erection right. yeah 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 huh hmm. Well, no one ever. I think unconditional love just like goes out the window. I if, think be, being transracial is way cooler. That's true. Than being transgender. We should another Patreon goal. If we hit 200k, we'll all become transracial. Yes, because that's a. I think that's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's supported, right? We it's su- don't, totally con- fine. That's like the right thing to believe in. Yes. Yeah. Hundred so, percent. Like we just become. We can no. do whatever we want. I stand with Miss Dolezal. Mm-hmm. But she didn't really do any surgeries, though. She just kind of like... Oh, that's right. She yeah. just like kind of started drinking lemonade and mm-hmm. braiding her hair. You, <laughs> what what kind of sucks is you don't have to... <laughs> drinking lemonade? It's it's really it's really no different. <laughs> mm-hmm. she, she just became black by going like, okay, baby. Yeah, yeah. She just kind of <laughs> said... She, yeah, she's, she just said baby. Mm. Yeah. She started drinking Sprite. Wow. Starry. <laughs> <laughs> Starry. My bad. Uh, that's race. I, what I was saying, I know, but what I was saying was, it's it's just it's like the transhumanist argument people make, where they say if you can control the genetic outcome of your child, unconditional love goes out the window, because hmm. then you don't have to love it in spite of its flaws. You can make it. You go, I want it to look like this, and it's gonna look like Brad Pitt. It's really good at math, and yeah. it doesn't annoy the shit out of right. me. Right, and it's handsome. So you can do uh, the same thing is is with being transracial or transgender. You get to choose what type of, like you get to choose the size of your pussy yeah. or the size of your penis. You don't have to like learn. You don't have to overcome something in order to like figure mm-hmm. out how to love yourself. Like all of us who are, who are born with small dicks, yeah. they don't have to learn. <laughs> yep. How to love ourselves. How to love ourselves. That's yeah. that's why I think the post op surgery should be free, but only for small dicks. <laughs> yeah. And I, big pussies. We're we're the guys. I like that. We're against <laughs> we're against trans surgery, but only because we figured out they give them huge dicks. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> They're beating us. <laughs> well, like that's really upsetting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it seems, I mean that seems fair. I think the government should fund any sort of like very like if you want a small if you want to go from a pussy to a very tiny penis. Mm. I mean like not a micro. That's fucked up. Yeah, <laughs> not one that's like the size of a clip. You I want mean like, like a four inch or three, three and a half. No, like yeah. that, like that. Two. That's like a two. I think that's technically micro. Yeah. No, 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 no. That's my. I've seen I, micro. I think under three is technically micro. Jack, I've seen micro. Yeah, micro. We've both looks seen. Like a, like we've a, both like, seen micro. Like a mushroom. Dude, I'm a fucking expert on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> we we knew a guy in high I, school we knew who a was guy, a yeah, micro yeah. penis. Yeah, micro yeah. penis. Yeah. Did you guys kill him? <laughs> <laughs> you kind of want to, a little right? Bit, I mean, just like, for his own good. What is your purpose here? <laughs> you do kind of want to ask. You want to pull him aside and be like, "You doing okay? 
Because I saw, oh, I saw that. I saw the you doing. All How right? do you not? How was that not mm-hmm. a conversation starter? Like mm-hmm. about your the the, the well being of yourself. Mm-hmm. Are you okay? Or is it like you don't really know what you're missing? Because I saw that thing that like the whole world like pretty much judges everyone off of, and mm-hmm. uh, you have the worst one. That I've ever I, seen. I saw that. Worst. Yeah, I saw you that. Have the lowest amount of money you could possibly yeah. have in the universe. You, the, you have no money <laughs> mm-hmm. in terms of your body. Yeah, you know that thing I view as a representation of my soul. Yours is the worst version <laughs> of that. <laughs> you, you know that thing like women lie to us and pretend it doesn't matter mm-hmm. because like literally we'd all kill ourselves if it did. Yeah. Yours is even worse than that. How do how do you guys think you'd be different if you were born with a micro penis? I would have died at seventeen. <laughs> I would have I would have taken dad's shotgun <laughs> and I would have fucking painted the wall of the garage. Oh, uh, just next to the family car, just dude. blowing blood all over the fucking garage. Yeah, dude. I mean like and then my suicide note would say, You know why I did it. Mm. Right. Yeah, you know yeah. why. You know why. You did this to me. If you have, you have like, a sharpie, you have it with an arrow pointed, mm-hmm. saying "This is this is why I blew my head off," with it pointing to your very <laughs> yeah. small penis, and you've circled it yeah. in a black sharpie. Yeah. And then the paramedics get there; they're like, "He cut his dick off and blew his head off." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, and he, he like shrunk his balls in ice, and or like, something. You put them in salt. The, all the, the the only thing anyone says is like, "Oh, the arrow is bigger than his dick." <laughs> Yeah, there's like yeah. a magnifying. They They're have like, a magnifying yeah. glass. I'm like, oh, they killed the dog too. Sheriff, they killed his dick. <laughs> they killed his dick too, sheriff. That's a micro penis. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Fixing to do something crazier than ever. <laughs> yeah, I. I mean, mm. legitimately, I don't know what I would do. We knew two. There was two guys who went to my high school who both had micro penises. Who was the other guy? I mean, I don't want to say his name. I mean, he's like I said, he's probably died was, in some. His weird... name was Mac Micro Penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his name was fucking um, Dylan Claybold. Mm. Um, <laughs> no, there was two guys, and I just knew it from like you, you know, you'd shower and shit. And one guy had he had a micro penis, but he had like regular balls, which is kind of almost worse because it just looked like a sack with nothing like above it. It looked like a hole. It looked like like um, when those people get in really bad car accidents and they don't have a nose anymore. Like that's kind of what his dick looked like. Yeah, it looked uh, like a balloon. Yeah, it just looked like a hole. Um, and then another guy, he had a micro penis, but he had little, like the tiniest little balls I've ever seen. Uh-huh. And you, I can't remember. You kept thinking like you could walk up to him and just like crush him. Yeah, your, yeah, you could just uh-huh. yeah destroy them. Oh man, so fucked up. Yeah, for a human to have. I mean, if I had that, I'd kill myself. I legitimately yeah. I don't know what I do if, if my fucking dick and balls look like you know those uh, balloons at carnival games where they're like pinned to a thing yeah, and you gotta yeah. pop it with a dart where it's just a bal- <laughs> it's a big balloon and then just a little nozzle <laughs> poked yeah yeah poked at someone that's your cock and there's a little knot in it in the <laughs> shaft yeah, yeah. god damn it I don't know if I, in terms of how a micro penis would change the trajectory of my life mm-hmm. I mean I already hate myself so much now You'd be working. And loathe myself so much now. Yeah, you'd be like working at like Seven Eleven or something. Yeah, I probably would just be some sat. I'm I'm those shooters where you know they go outside of a government building mm-hmm. and with like they have like an airsoft sniper laser on an AR-15 that they somehow got for like four hundred dollars and they have bullshit safety vest stuff and mm-hmm. they they're like running in and then they immediately get sniped by like thirty police officers. Yeah. I'm that I'm that guy you'd that be, didn't even get in the building. You'd be one of those guys who somehow tries to like um, fucking go kart um, plane into the White House lawn. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Like I drive have, like a little like a, a crop duster. <laughs> yeah, you drive like like the little like the things from Fly Away Home. Mm-hmm. Those little I don't know what those are called. <laughs> mm-hmm. Remember, there's a guy who like got on one of those and tried mm-hmm. to fly into White House, and they just yeah, shot yeah. him with a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just turn him into like fucking Swiss cheese. Yeah, I'm just in the little Stuart Little plane. Mm-hmm. I just yeah. fucking you do that. It'd be like it's saying like you'd fucking try to hold hostages at a WNBA game and get killed. Because <laughs> you would. Here's the thing: you would hate yourself so much you wouldn't even do a good shooting. No, no, no. Yeah. You know? I, don't know. I wouldn't have the mm-hmm. uh, ability. I don't. I don't believe uh, that version of me would have the, right. the ability to uh, really do. I'd be forgotten. Yeah, you try I'd to be forgotten immediately. You try to rob like an ally bank, 
Like a bank that doesn't rob an online bank. (laughs) An online bank. (laughs) You just be outside of an ATM with a gun, (laughs) and then get fucking sniped. Yeah, I don't know. God, I guess I. Or maybe I just work at like a car dealership or something. Maybe it would have the opposite effect, and you'd be like a tie-in of industry because you're always, you know, I'm overcompensating. Yeah, exactly. Oh, interesting. Yeah, you're like the Isaiah Thomas of having a penis. Yeah, you know. Yeah, maybe right. you would definitely kill yourself, though. Yeah, I would. I would 100 percent kill myself. <laughs> Make no mistake. Oh man, know? I'd live with it, and I'd I convince everybody that they're gay for not having one. Yeah, you. I could see you just becoming like a lonely stoner yeah. guy. I'd be like, you guys don't even fucking get like the level I'm on. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like one of like so many on earth. And, mm-hmm. like, you guys are, like it's like it looks weird to me. That big dick, fucking pathetic. Devin would form a, a committee like an AA group where they all meet. Like it's Nambla, but for yeah. guys that think be, having micro penises is better. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I'd be like, you know what, girls love is soda. <laughs> Not I'd huge like, cock. I'd be like, hey, look, you're a huge cock. Like, dude, I've been talking to the girl. They love like Pepsi and they love like video games and they love when you list off every flavor of Mountain Dew. Yeah. Live wire, fucking voltage, mm-hmm. baja red, regular. I'd be like me and my chick but we brought the downloading shit on LimeWire. <laughs> We're fucking <laughs> You fag. Uh, You'd be like, look at you. You like fuck. You like you like have like a big dick and you like fuck them. It's like, like they don't really like that. Yeah. Like, they find it like aggressive. What do you do? You like fucking pound their cervix? I'd be like, dude, that's weird. Like you're hurting them. <laughs> like that's like really bizarre of you to yeah. do. Hey, you're hurting her. You're hurting her, asshole. <laughs> you know what she likes? Soda and lunchables. <laughs> Retard. She likes a dick that just like just boxes her clit like it's a speed bag at a gym. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she likes to be jabbed. <laughs> she likes it when I put my tiny dick under her clitoral hood and then fucks the hood. Jack. <laughs> I'm pretty sure guys with micro penises they like just finger themselves like a yeah, woman. Yeah, it's like that's a, how they it's jack like a, off. It's like they a just do that. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think they, so. They, they, finger, they just rub it. Yeah, they I finger so. themselves like they're doing a DJ set. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like they're, yeah, they're doing a boiler room yeah. set. Yeah, they come like it's Gangnam style. <laughs> they, they grab their dick and they go, "Woo!" <laughs> Do, does the cum just sort of fall out like like when someone spits? I think it just drops out. Yeah, mm-hmm. so it comes out and it immediately goes to the earth. It just drops into the dust, right down. Yeah, mm. and their cum is probably so sad too. <laughs> God. Yeah, the cum probably is much smaller as well, right? Because the penis is so small. Yeah, that would be funny though if it was bigger, though. You know. <laughs> yeah, like, they come huge. Yeah, yeah. So they look like they look like Spider Man, you know. Yeah, and I guess when they come, maybe their penis because the because to make room for the cum, it has to expand. So maybe when they come, it kind of it's like inflating one of those doctor's gloves. <laughs> Yeah. It just gets bigger, and so the woman can feel him being inside of her for like maybe three or four seconds yeah. as he's jizzing. Mm-hmm. I just want to really like, I want to like thank you for your retarded curiosity <laughs> with any idiotic thing we're talking about here. It's like unbelievable what we explore, <laughs> and be- all because of you. Because mm. somehow you literally you think of it like Einstein. Mm. You're like, that's interesting. So like, the dick is under the balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think of everything like a, I'm learning about things for the first time. Yeah, yeah. like I'm four years old. It's like basically. watching a guy like figure out math, like mm-hmm. the first guy to figure math out, but it's with the dumbest thing of all time. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's just beautiful, and I thank you for that. Well, I, I told you guys, I drive, you shoot. <laughs> but we're shooting at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we're trying to we're trying to get the machine gun down into the mm-hmm. tank to yeah, kill yeah. you. You guys are too. You guys are too like uh, Bunsen burners, and I'm a teapot. Mm. And you guys are trying to make me make me boil Get you and, boiled. and blow up. I like that. That's a good analogy. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Devin does make a good point. You're like um, a philosopher, but if you're like, you know what, like Camus, Nietzsche, they left a lot of stones unturned. Yeah, like, yeah. what if you had yeah. really big balls in a tiny dick? <laughs> exactly. And it's like maybe there's secrets to reality yeah. underneath but, those. But what if Hitler was 500 pounds? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah Ben's like, just think. But right. it's like, what if the stones were gay? <laughs> the stones. Right. You're like a guy, you get to Everest, and Everest is, you know, the human experience, and you're like, I'm going to climb that, and you start digging down into the earth. Mm. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're like a spelunker of retardation. 
What's a spelunker? Spelunkers, I, they go go deep into caves and they've searched to the oh, center. Damn. They go to the center of the earth. I I'm think. gonna start using that. Spelunking. I always called them guys that climb down in holes. <laughs> Guy that climbs I always sounded like holes. a goddamn retard. But uh, they're called spelunkers, which is a weird sexual. It almost sounds like they come on faces or something. It sounds like a guy who's in charge of drilling all the glory holes. It does sound like that guy. Like a guy who has a drill and he's like yeah. he's like Mike Ehrman Trout, just going from. Mm-hmm. But he's just like yeah. going from city to city, getting out hey, with the drill. Right. Like, pss, pss. Yeah. Yeah. This is a five inch width, Walter. <laughs> Walter, you don't want to see there's a fucking bell curve. <laughs> Almost no people are over 6.5 girth, Walter. <laughs> this is first one's curve to the left, Walter. <laughs> we have two holes, Walter. One's for the balls, one's for the dick. It's how we've been doing it for a long time. I've never, by the way, I just want to say real quick, never seen a glory hole. Really? Me neither. I've never, I've never. You been, have never been to a bathroom and seen one. No. I've been to plenty of truck stops. Never seen one. I've been to my fair share. You've, have you ever seen? I've never seen like a professional glory hole. You know, like, <laughs> right. like you walk, and you're like, that's a fucking glory <laughs> hole. But you've seen a hole, somebody yeah. like crudely tried to make. I've seen yeah. like a vague hole, and I'm like, I think you're supposed to stick your fucking cock think, in that. Yeah. yeah. And is it, uh, is it like pitch black, or are there colors on the other side? What's going on? Hmm? Is there there's like some iridescence? It's a hot lady's mouth. What are you talking <laughs> yeah, about? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. But the best part of the glory hole is it doesn't have to be a lady. Yeah. You can just kind of convince yourself of anything, as long as you leave the bathroom before they open up their stall. <laughs> oh, interesting. Right. Well, yeah. Even though you just feel beard and like a man's yeah, fucking you're like, like, cab oh, driver's man. hand. Is that a new thing you yeah. have? Yeah, that's a beautiful lady who can palm a basketball behind I, that wall. Dude, is that Joanna, man? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been there, but I've never seen like somebody where it's like clearly they like fucking board it out and then like sanded down. Yeah, I've never seen one edges. where it's like in yeah, porn yeah, yeah. and then there's duct tape around it so it doesn't hurt your cock. <laughs> I would really fuck with them if I ever found a glory hole. I'd take a shit through it. Yeah. And as the turd starts coming out of my ass and it gets pushed through in the perfect glory hole size shape, mm-hmm. they, they're they trying to suck on it and it takes them a kind yeah. of a moment they to just, realize they're sucking they shit. Think, yeah, they think it's a black guy's dick. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it's head, it's like a baby. Right. You, Coming out of a pussy, mm-hmm. it'd be funny to, they come out to put of. like a stick of dynamite through it, and the guy's head explodes. He, oh, his yeah, eyes are yeah. closed because he's all into it. He's like super gay, and he like can't wait to suck it. And mm-hmm. His whole head explodes. That'd be funny, dude. They, these are these are like the <laughs> new me. the new TikTok <laughs> to pranks we to need me. to do is we need to fuck with people who uh, venture out to glory holes. Yeah, they, oh, they're doing that. TikTokers are doing all sites, all types of pranks. They're yeah. going. They're now TikTokers are now going to uh, stores and they're just saying this guy's a pedophile. He was sending me messages online. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah, because like like pedophile catchers, they're now pretending that they're just falsely accusing people at the store of it. They think that's hilarious. awful. There's now TikTokers also in restaurants and they're going, he's got a gun, he's got a gun, and everyone rushes out and Jesus. they think there's a mass shooting going on. Oh they, my god, they're all jo- they're all Joey Lafleur now. Yeah, I mean you got to give it up though. I mean I I, w- I would do that if I was living in this day and age where they've added so many new things. I'd be to, calling in bomb threats to my school. There's so many yeah. fun new things to fuck with the system over. It's yeah. like I would mm-hmm. use it all to my advantage. I mean I was a terrible kid. Yeah, I get it. You'd be like at school, you'd be creating like fake Twitter accounts about specific people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, I want to take care of my body at all growing up. Like I would be I would be the fattest guy on the FBI's most wanted list to Mm -hmm. ever live Mm -hmm. with like a 400 pound student keeps calling in bomb (laughs) bomb threats. All over the United States, yeah, into every school. It's so funny. We can't just like do anything to fat people. You can't just like. What do you mean? It's just arrest them. We well, can do anything you want to them and just run away. Just get them off the streets. <laughs> just start arresting. locking them up for being fat. Right. Officer, <laughs> yeah. Do you know why I pulled you over today? Yeah. Your tits. That's why I kind of feel like the Vegas shooting, he had the highest count because they're the fattest people. They're in Vegas at a country rock show. So Stephen Paddock, like, it's one of the biggest possible targets. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. Like, it's like shooting a house. How are you going to miss? Yeah. Yeah, he actually only killed one guy. <laughs> they counted as <laughs> seventy-five people. Just him firing into a crowd of people, and they—it just takes him like four minutes to disperse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it was like—I know I made the joke, but it's like turkeys looking at the rain. Yeah, I mean, you—I've seen, I've seen the footage from the concert. <laughs> You see, like the like the fucking like the fire starts, and Jason Aldean's like, "Who's playing that trap music? <laughs> Who's playing that hip hop shit?" Uh, 
and then yeah, people like literally just like they're turning, they're like it's there, and then yeah. just like, doo, 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 oh, you know, shit. yeah. Everyone at the concert just thought it was like a like an intro. <laughs> Yeah, and then you had Dan Blazarian, my favorite part of the Mandalay Bay, Bay shooting mm-hmm. was him sprinting mm-hmm. away with his phone. He's, He's like, holy shit, I just saw a fucking lady's head get blown off. This is fucking crazy, dude. <laughs> He's got like a huge cowboy hat. Huge out. cowboy hat on. He's like, dude, it's fucking crazy. <gasps> and then he <gasps> yells at a cop. He's like, give me your gun. The He's cop like, tells him no. Give me a gun. They're like, no. They're like, what are, what are yeah. you? He's like, I'm tactically trained. Give me your gun. Yeah. yeah. Tactically trained. Yeah, Dan Blazarian rules, though. Did you see what they said about the, about, about the Mandalay Bay huh? shooting? Oh, the motive? They the finally released motive. the motive? Yeah, did what you see the, the motive? Main, that he like lost at the slot machines and he was pissed. Mm-hmm. He was really pissed at the casino. He lost at a slot machine? That he was losing and he was angry at the casino employees, so he killed a bunch of Jason Aldea fans. Yeah. We've all, I mean, no, it's we've all, all been there. It's all fake. We, yeah. yeah. Huh. The amount of times I've torn up, a, torn up a racing form and then just grabbed a shotgun yeah. out of my car. Yeah. And I go, I'm going to shoot 575 You know people. what? I'm going to take my uh, assault rifles up to my room. I didn't hit three bananas this time. Time to go buy 45 guns. <laughs> I think I'm going to take out a small village. Because <laughs> I'm pissed off at, right. at you know, do- at Dottie yeah. that works at Harrods. <laughs> I'm, I got fucking, I hit 22, so now I'm going to do a shooting that takes five days to <laughs> yeah. set up. You fuck Circus Circus. Mm-hmm. Fuck them. Yeah. I will say about the Vegas shooting, oh, fuck, I just forgot what I was going to say. But oh, you will well, say it. Is that it? <laughs> According to you, you will. I, yeah. Hey, I'll say guys, it. I forgot my thought, but I will say this. <laughs> Shit, I literally, literally like it's some someone unplugged the computer or I know. something. The uh, way you're the way you're holding that water ball is really pissing me off. Yeah, why are you holding it? It's, you look like uh, a Japanese girl at a movie theater. My head hurts. <laughs> Your head hurts right now? I have inflammation. Oh no. Oh you're right. I have cellulitis. Bu- the bugs got inside. A bug in bit here. me and I have inflammation. I forgot the mummy beetle got mm-hmm. inside you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and now I'm on antibiotics, and it sucks because my stomach is always really fucked. Yeah, up. yeah, you're, you have like no immune system because of those antibiotics. It makes me so tired. Yeah, yeah. Ben got a big bug bite on his head, and he got a lot of inflammation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Although, who knows? Maybe it could be something crawling out of your brain. Oh, interesting. Yeah. What if your brain's trying to escape? <laughs> it's like I can't take any more of the internet. <laughs> it's his prefrontal cortex yeah, making a break for it. to make a run for it. His prefrontal cortex is just chiseling through his <laughs> yeah, skull. Like Andy Dufresne in the shot. Yeah, it's got, it's got a little poster of a hot lady brain <laughs> on the inside of your skull. And then every night it's just... Ding, ding, yeah, ding, your prefrontal ding, ding, cortex ding. has like a pet canary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it got, it, got, uh, it got raped by your fucking... Um, mm-hmm. Another part... A dual oblongata. <laughs> mm. What do you say... I wish I could remember what I was going to say about the Vegas shooting because yeah. it, it was poignant. Damn. I wish I could fucking... It was fucking brilliant. Hear it. You have no idea. Yeah. God damn you, Ben. You're probably just going to be like, I'll say this about the Mandalay shooting. It was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny that that happened uh-huh. and all those people died. Mm-hmm. And we don't care. No, we don't care. Yeah. No one. If you Google it, it, there's no results. Nothing comes up. Yeah. They're just like, there was a mishap. There's no memorial there either. Right. Last time I went to Vegas, I walked up and down to see where he did it. And uh, no no memorial, no nothing. Just like uh, they put up like fence. It's really eerie. There's Mm -hmm. just like weird chain link fences and there's no no flowers. Nothing. It's because nobody died. Yeah, I mean, yeah, those people, kidding. those very people are po- holograms. Possible. I know a lot of people lived and then died in another shooting later on or how, something. But how do we know anything happened? I don't know. I really don't know. I, 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 I you know, I, I, I don't believe in anything. Well, yeah. Devin, you're being very ignorant. I know someone personally who died in the Vegas shooting and you're really offending me right now. Really? Yeah, I do. How'd they die? Uh, they, what do you mean? They died in the Vegas shooting. But How? They got. It. They took their own life after the they police corner <laughs> because they had weed in their pockets. Uh, uh. No, he knew Stephen Paddock. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Devin, you're Devin's being. He's really offending me right now. I was good friends with Stephen Paddock. You know what else died in the Vegas shooting? What's that? Truth. 
Yeah, I think that's the real casualty here. You know what is, else died? Is truth. You know what else died in the Vegas shooting? <laughs> Journalism. Yeah. That's what I say. And you can subscribe to me on Substack. I've been talking about it for 17 years. Dude. Speaking of like, what is it called? Yellow journalism or whatever the hell. You know, everything's just fucking, there's like an opinion. You know, yellow journalism, it's like when journalism came out and it started becoming I really like wanted to make a yeah, bad I racist know. joke so, he, so bad. Okay, let me look it up yeah. to make sure yeah. I'm not retarded. Ben, that's what Ben calls the Chinese times. <laughs> <laughs> that damn yellow journalism. Well, you did it. Am I fucking retarded? Journalism that is based upon sensationalism and crude exaggeration. It came about yeah, in... So, uh, so journalism then. Right, but it used to not be that way. But well, now it's all yellow journalism. But regardless, so back in back in like the uh, like the late eighteen hundreds and stuff, mm-hmm. when senators and people like that were running against each other, there's a I forget the specific story. I was talking to my friend Aaron Gwynn at American Gwynn on the phone about it. He told me like some senator. Bleep that out. We've given Amer- <laughs> We've, given, we've yeah. given Aaron too many plugs. Yeah. Bleep that too out. Much. Uh, he was telling me it was some. I believe it was uh, two senators or some. I'm not going to look it up right now because who, who gives a shit? But they were running against each other politically, and one of them started running ads that the other one died because because really? he was fat. Oh, mm. so they said he died, and then you can't like you can't tweet out like no, I'm still here. So so they go since he died, you might as well just vote for me, and then. Uh, the other guy had to like then publish uh, news stories going, it's not real, I'm actually alive. And then people were like, yeah, but that's this right. is a counter campaign to like elect right, the guy who's fake. dead for this. Yeah, that's like so, what a perfect thing. But that's so this what's happening right now is, has always been going on. That's like 1940s Trump. That's kind of like brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Like, Did you guys like, know there was. You're dead. Did you guys ever see that old. There was an old movie that came out in like the 50s. About a rancher, like a ranch kingpin that comes into town. His name is Trump. Really? The whole movie is everyone in the town hating him, wanting him out of there because he's kicking out him. Like, he's like racist. I think I vaguely remember hearing about this. It's very weird. Interesting. I watched like an eight minute clip from the movie. And this could be Mm -hmm. like a fake, like I was living in a matrix. The man who shot Stormy Daniels? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the man. Yeah, the man who cum shot Stormy Daniels. <laughs> yeah, it's just John Wayne being like, well, what if I fuck you in the ass, Pilgrim? It was like a real... I, I, I don't think I'm having a fever dream. I remember watching a clip from I, this movie, and it was very extremely I bizarre. I vaguely remember, and there was like a couple other details that like matched up. They all like matched up really well. Trump's campaign. Yeah. I know they did about um, Fatty Arbuckle, who was like the first film star. They just... Um, a newspaper like made up a rumor that he he was so fat he fucked a girl to death and she died and it like ruined his career. Oh really? Yeah, they said um, he fucked her and then um, he shoved like a coke bottle up her pussy and she died and it just wasn't true at all. But it like, but it still he was like last, the first. But it could have been. It could have been because he's really fat, so he ha- would have had a coke yeah, bottle yeah. there. Well, we live in a day and age where no matter what, if somebody says something about you, that's you forever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know? yeah, he was the first guy to get canceled, yeah. but it was like the nineteen. He was the first like Duke lacrosse team. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. Those rapists. Those piece of shit rapists. Who actually? I saw didn't the do doc. It. You didn't do it. You fucking rapists. What is the Burr Hamilton deal? Oh, this is amazing. So this the- is about when Bill Burr is he's going to be in Hamilton next year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, I was in Hamilton. It was great. Oh, yeah. Hey, Thomas Jefferson, he's like black or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and George Washington looks like my wife. Ah, oh, George Washington, he's over there. He's like a Filipino. Ah, oh, you know? Uh, the, the duel between Alexander Hamilton and uh, Aaron Burr, the third vice president of the United States, and then Alexander Hamilton was the first and former secretary of the treasury, uh, at dawn on July 11th, 1804, they had a duel. Duels are so cool. It was the culmination of a bitter rivalry that had developed between the men who had become high-profile po- politicians in post-colonial America. Oh, in the duel, Burr fatally shot Hamilton in the abdomen while Hamilton fired into a tree branch. What a fucking loser. Yeah, he sucks. Well, that's the story that uh, Hamilton told, is that because he was a man of honor, he was going to fire above 
Right, he wasn't actually going to try and kill him. Burr's, really? Burr's head. That's the story. Who knows how much of it is true? Huh. And he thought because Burr was also a gentleman that he would, and then Burr just shot him in the belly. So here's what's interesting, though. It effectively ended the political career of Burr, who was vilified for shooting Hamilton. He never held another office after his tenure of vice president ended in 1805. Yeah, he, yeah. Wasn't, he wasn't really supposed to do it. It was, wow. for, it was for like show, and he was supposed to kind of like choose honor, but mm. instead he actually shot him. Damn. Yeah. Uh, Alexander him, Hamilton's son also died in a duel before Alexander Hamilton. Damn. Yeah. Man. Imagine signing up for your death. Like, like uh, yeah. I know. We'll do a duel. Because a guy knocked over your drink at right. the bar. We're going to both walk 10 paces that way and then kill each other. <laughs> right. <laughs> Idiots. Then we're going to shoot a gun that can explode in our face. Yeah, we're going to shoot a hand <laughs> cannon. Mm. Uh, yeah, apparently they used to accuse each other of being like gay all the time. Yeah, in the in the fifties, is that where you're? Yeah, yeah. Up? It says, uh, "Oh, uh, Davy Crockett was calling Martin Van Buren gay." gay. Dude, this is everybody's been doing. Every people stopped for a while doing the the Trump technique, mm-hmm. and now they're, they're now back. Trump brought he that brought from the back. past. He brought it back. He's like Davy Crockett. It's He's amazing. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because it was. I think McCarthy kind of made it hack. You know, mm, in the fifties, right. And it was kind of like old hat. And right. then sure. Trump brought back the, the muck raking. He revived the art form. Exactly. This, this says that he accused Van Buren of laced, being laced up in corsets such as women in town wear and, if possible, tighter than the rest of them. You could hear Trump saying that. Yeah. Laced up in a corset. <laughs> women wear it. Much, it's me, much tighter than the way women wear much them. Much tighter than the way women wear it. It's me, Davy Crockett. <laughs> I wear a coonskin cap. <laughs> Don't look at me. You know what that word means. <laughs> the president knew what it meant and they took it out of we context. We all know the double meaning. Mm. It's hilarious. Mm. <laughs> That's why I wear it because it's hilarious. I wear it. It's a prop. I'm making fun of a whole race. <laughs> Coonskin cap. What is that? An Afro wig? It's hilarious. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> My apologies. Sorry. Jace, look in the camera and Sorry. apologize. Sorry. Man, this is amazing. I didn't know they used to just call the whole American politics. It's just calling the other guy gay, mm-hmm. and whoever calls the other guy gay the most times, he wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. William F. Buckley famously did that in a debate with Gore Vidal. Um, it was like I think the '68 presidential um, election, and they would have debates after every debate. And then Gore Vidal, who's like this you know big fucking flaming gay guy, yeah, and William Buckley, who was this famous conservative. Who talked, you know, with kind of a New England right, Catherine right, right. Hepburn yeah, yeah, yeah. type accent. And this then, guy? Um, yeah, that's Gore Vidal. And then the other guy was William F. Buckley. Mm-hmm. Um, Gore Vidal goes, oh, shut up, you crypto-Nazi. And he kept calling him a crypto-Nazi. And yeah. then William F. Buckley famously said, he goes, if you call me a crypto-Nazi one more time, I'll, pu- I'll sucker punch you, you goddamn queer. Oh, hell and yeah. And he called him a queer on TV. And really? And it was like this big. Wow. And then Gore Vidal sat down just like a sassy queen. He goes, well, I don't know. Called me a, a goddamn queer. Has Trump ever called someone a fag? No, not yet. It's been like you're being a huge fag right now. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly, he'd he'd immediately be catapulted. Yeah, he would win the gamer vote. Yeah, yeah, easily. I'm gonna see, dude. I'm gonna see if Trump. I think he's got to break out the gamer word. He wins for, to win 2024. Yeah, he wins Xbox 360. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> president of the fucking. Yeah, they put him into Fortnite. <laughs> yeah, like that Travis Scott thing. <laughs> He's 800 feet big. I'm typing, has Donald Trump ever said the N-word? Well, there's that famous tape that they claim they have. They claim there's a tape of him saying it a bunch. From The Apprentice, yeah. Well, the Hollywood Reporter said they don't exist. Yeah, so... Hmm. There's also, I mean, there's so many claims. There's like the claim that like two Russian hookers were pissing on him. And yeah, like none of them. Have, I mean, they want these to come out so badly, and they never have. So it, it's kind of like, well, it probably didn't happen. I've read an in-depth thing about the P tape where they can like uh, look to see what rooms they were in and everything, mm-hmm. and what they kind of deduce. And it's a really long thing. I, I it's kind of hazy on the details, but basically they go. So someone definitely filmed someone that looks like Trump in that room in Russia when he's doing the pee, but then they they pieced things together how it couldn't happen. So they th- they think someone uh, basically made a video to look like Trump was... That's possible. Mm. They, 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 but they actually went to the... 
They just to the uh, extent yeah. to go to That's Russia to believable. make, or I guess if they're in Russia, they could have made That's it. That's believable. They, they just like you see it, and they just CGI his head onto the Hulk Hogan sex tape. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just Trump being like, "Oh, I shouldn't eat yeah. Chinese." They knew oh. it was his piss because it was so dehydrated. It was like <laughs> it's super so dark. yellow. Yeah. And dark. It's black. Yeah, it looks, it looks <laughs> like Guinness. <laughs> You put it in a glass and it goes down the side. Yeah, it's nitro. <laughs> yeah, it's got nitro. Yeah, somebody's yeah. like, you know Trump's piss, it's got the nitrogen thing in yeah. the bottom of it. He has to wait like five minutes for the toilet bowl to like lower. <laughs> when he shakes his dick, it sounds like a can of spray paint. Because <laughs> has that little ball You hear ball the in little it. ball, yeah. Yeah. There's an, there's an Irish guy being uh, like, that's not a proper piss, mate. <laughs> Oh, you call that piss? And my, uh, my grandmother makes better piss than that. <laughs> uh, Patreon.com slash Lemon Party. I think this is the regular. We'll see. Okay. We'll see, yeah. Uh, live streams every 4 p.m. Wednesday, uh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you subscribe to the Lemon Party Clips channel. And then those go behind a paywall on the Patreon as well. And then we do Patreon episodes every Friday as well. And I think we have like 30... Something episodes on the Patreon at this point, like 30, uh, 31 or 32. Yeah, I think, I think so we you could really binge. 30. You could yeah. really binge a bunch of episodes. There's yeah. audio and video on there. It's a fun time. Uh, Devin Hate Watch Podcast, as always. Jace at Sad Drawings by Jace. And uh, I've been, I've been gay, and I will see you next week. Good night. <laughs>